At the police detachment where Constable Greg Piuschala briefly got to live out his dream as a police officer, a memorial is growing. I just felt so bad for all the police officers and our community is so safe. I just wanted to do something to see if I could cheer them up. I too had lost a brother in the line of duty in 2012. So, you know, I understand to a degree um, what the family is going through and, and, and how it affects all the officers as well. The 28-year-old Ontario Provincial Police Officer had just passed his 10-month probation period when he was shot and killed Tuesday afternoon. He was responding to a call about a vehicle in a ditch about 40 kilometers away from Hamilton, Ontario. After a brief court appearance, the two suspects were charged with first-degree murder, 25-year-old Randall McKenzie and 30-year-old Brandy Stewart Sperry. Their next court date is January 17th. 200 kilometers away, another community is also grieving. It takes the wind out of you where you sit and you can't believe it's real. At the high school Pierce Chala attended in Barrie, Ontario, he is remembered as an optimistic young man and a stellar athlete. Pierce Chala excelled at soccer and track and field, but wrestling was a particular passion. He continued with the sport at York University. Anyone that had an involvement with him will tell you the exact same story. The hug, the smile, the joy, the faith that radiate out of him was ever present, always there. And he is exactly what you are going to hear about. He was every bit what you hear about and more. Deanna, a key development tonight is the OPP commissioner called the murder entirely preventable. Can you tell us about the criminal history of the main suspect? That's absolutely correct, David. We're talking about Randall McKenzie and OPP Commissioner Thomas Carreek said that this man had been prohibited from owning a firearm since 2018, prohibited for life, in fact, that he had a number of firearm-related offenses, uh, that he was out on bail and that there had been a warrant out for his arrest uh, since September. And this elicited a lot of questions uh, from journalists in the room asking, you know, do you blame the fact that he was out on bail for this utterly preventable tragedy? And the commissioner said, absolutely, this is outrageous. We also learned some other things, like the fact that uh, uh, Greg Pierschala had a body cam. This is how we know some of these details about what happened between him and the two people charged in his death and that they fled in yet another stolen vehicle uh, that they allegedly uh, stole uh, from other people, uh, civilians that were there on the scene. One thing we don't know yet is when the funeral will happen. As you can see, David, lots of people left flowers and really want to pay their respects to Constable Greg Pierschala. David. Absolutely. Deanna Sumanak-Johnson uh, outside the OPP detachment for us tonight. Thank you.